I made some capacitive plates using aluminum flashing, some press and seal material made by Glade, super glue, of course, that's a must for a lot of these things I make, and some plastic casing that you would typically find with anything you purchase that has, you know, that plastic ceiling around it. So let me show you how I construct this entire thing. All right, this is a rough illustration of the capacitor I made. So here we have two aluminum plates. That's illustrated by the white within the black here. So those are the aluminum plates. The black illustrates the press and seal material, which protects the aluminum from the water. So there's no electrolysis or oxidation. Now, this purple here indicates the super glue. So the super glue holds this light blue material, this light blue material being the case packaging material, or I believe it is uh, polypropylene. So that polypropylene is faceted to both sides of the aluminum in essence. It's attached to both sides of those. So that provides an air gap so the plates won't get too close to each other or too far away from one another. So it holds them in place or relative distance to one another. So they have a set capacitance. The only thing that will influence the capacitance is how much water is flowing up between the plates. So if we have a certain amount of water here, that will influence the capacitance to a certain point. Now, if we have a certain amount of water here, then again, we have another influence of capacitive change. And if it's up to here, we have another influence of capacitant change. Now, as I stated before, this is a rough illustration. They're not that closely spaced, so there's a lot more analog measuring going on there. So let's go ahead and actually do a real demonstration of how this works and see if it actually does work using a real world scenario. Okay, so here's the capacitance. It's right now at 311 picofarads. And the level of the water is at 6.5 centimeters. So now I'm gonna drain some of this water out. Now the capacitance has dropped down to 276 picofarads. And the volume of the water is at 5.5 centimeters. So let's take some more out. Now the level of the water is at 3.5 centimeters and the capacitance of the water is at 215 picofarads. So we can see a reduction in the capacitance with the reduction of water in the cup. So that's really cool actually, far better than my other one because this one's quite stable compared to the three lead method. This is just two leads. As you can see, I just have two leads attached to my DMM, which has a capacitive function. Not the best, but it's still pretty stable.